Hello and welcome to the Daily Forks Report. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This pair moved lower, uh, did create a new low, pulled back a little bit basically to the previous session's close, or, or low rather, to close. We are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 77.59, possibly as low as 76.46. Look for some resistance around 77.50 and look for some support around 76.75. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair closed down, opened, uh, and the, the high and the open were the same. It moved lower, is moving sideways overall. Look for it to potentially go as high as 138.91, possibly as low as 134.12. Look for some resistance around 137.15. And look for some support around 135.37. Now the pound US dollar pair, it surged to the downside. Had a very uh, strong day. Still moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 161.60. Possibly as low as 157.13. Look for some resistance around 16,000. And look for some support around 158.50. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed higher, uh, still matching its trend line here uh, on the downside. Look for it to potentially go as high as 0 uh, 092.27, possibly as low as 0 0.8892. Look for some resistance around 0 0.9150 and look for some support around 0 0.8950. All right, now as far as news announcements go, we have uh, the Euro releasing, or the, the Germans, uh, Germany releasing their gross domestic product, which will affect the Euro for the third quarter at 2 a.m. Eastern time. Consensus on that one is that it uh, has moved from 2.8% to 2.4%, which would be negative news for the Euro. At 4.30 a.m. Eastern time, we have the gross uh, the consumer price index for October being released for the pound. Consensus on that one is that it's dropped just a little bit from 5.2% down to 5.1%. We also have the Eurozone releasing their gross domestic product numbers uh, year to date for the third quarter at 5 a.m. Eastern. Consensus on that is that it has dropped from 1.6% down to 1.4%. Then at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, we have the U.S. releasing their retail sales for October, showing a uh, big drop actually from 1.1% down to 0.3% could be negative news for the U.S. dollar, especially if it comes out into uh, negative numbers. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, let's take a look at the four-hour time frame. Let's zoom out a little bit. You can see that we've had uh, somewhat of a trend line that's developed here. Uh, let me. in the U.S. Japanese yen pair. Uh, we potentially could get up to that point. Uh, be aware of it if we do. Basically we have a strong area of we have previous resistance, resistance, uh, support, support. So in this area we have uh, basically an area of previous support and resistance. If we get a break to the upside, we could see it move higher. Uh, where would I put that? I actually would tag this session's high, or this bar's high rather. If we get a break basically above the one or the 7715 mark, I'd look for it to come on up basically about 15 pips. If you notice also that that's right in line with previous areas of support right here, it matches up fairly close to that area. So looking for it to break through there, we've had uh, basically uh, it surged through there, had a, a window of opportunity. It broke above it but didn't quite get there. Now I'm looking for it to push up now that we have several bars, three bars, and one going as in a reversal pattern uh, on the four hour time frame. If we come up to that point, uh, then I will exit for 15 pips uh, before I look for it to go the other way. Well, I hope that helps and until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.